Okay, so yeah, for those who don't know, uh, recently there was a leak of, uh, someone found like an old dev cart of an F-Zero, uh, cart, and it was F-Zero X, and this is actually from one of the older leaks from a few months ago, actually. Um, so someone found this old F-Zero X dev cart, and it happened to have a bunch of, uh, OOT data on it from... A very early version of OOT, and this was dated like around uh, Space World ninety seven. Save states, and so these are like a bunch of maps from like a year and a half before OOT was released, and so these are like super different maps. So I just wanted to like play through them because I think they're so cool. But yeah, this is beta likely what was likely Deku Tree. And yeah, so uh, all the map data uh, was able to be ported over to OOT. So these are maps are like super unfinished. There's nothing in them. But it's really cool. I was playing around with it last night. These are like so cool. And uh, there, there are these spots in this where you can like directly see that these are from early screenshots. Like somewhere in Decatry there should be a room with uh, a bunch of windows and light coming through the windows. And it looks exactly like a certain screenshot from super early OOT. Okay, yeah, here. This is, uh, that super early... This is that room. Like, there's a super early beta screenshot of this room. And we have the map now. Yeah, this deck tree is really big. Like, it's like a multi-tiered, like, spiral staircase room. Yeah, that's actually a common theme with a lot of these, is that there seems to be maps that used to be much bigger. Except Forest Temple, which I'll show later. Forest Temple is, like, super tiny. And by tiny, I mean, like, the rooms are, like, cramped. Little bridge here. Why isn't this in the game? I mean, there's probably a lot of good reasons for it to be in the game. Like, this is probably too complicated for a first dungeon. Also, yeah, possibly lag. Like, for, uh, not force. Water Temple in this is really big. And Water Temple... I suspect Water Temple would have lagged a lot. Is there a beta Dampe 2? I will get to that. That is actually a good question, and there's a very interesting answer to that. Go up Deku Tree more. Yeah, I'll probably highlight this. Because, yeah, going through, looking through these maps is super cool and interesting. I love this kind of stuff. Big empty room. You can tell that these are like they're a lot of the like concept is finished, but they're not it's not finished as in like playable and usable and stuff. But like the general layout idea seems pretty finished. Well, finished as in like could get started on making good. Obviously they didn't actually finish it, because this was completely scrapped. Some of the dungeons were like, some of the dungeons look completely unrecognizable and some of them look very close to what they are in final. Like Forest Temple, when I get to Forest Temple later, Forest Temple like, the rooms look pretty close to the same. 
they're just like way smaller for some reason. So big, it just keeps going up. Yeah, like imagine this being like a uh, a first dungeon. Like this is probably too complicated for a first dungeon. Yeah, this is from the uh, F Zero dump. So, uh, for clarification, there were actually two leaks from a few days ago. One was the F Zero one with all the really early beta maps that I'm playing right now. That's the one that's been getting more attention. There's another one that. Uh, leaked a near final build of OOT that we've been calling like version 0.9. It was probably the last version of OOT before 1.0 and has like various uh, bug differences from original OOT. And that's the one I was playing on stream a few days ago looking for differences. So this is the one I was already in. So yeah, there were two leaks that both happened on the same day. This is the super early one, and the other one was the near release one. I can't believe how big this Deku tree was. Yeah, this is supposed to be Deku tree. This was very early Deku tree. Or at least some kind of forest dungeon. Seems most likely Decatree. What's this room? Yeah, the the ROM that was leaked does not have full uh it doesn't have like the entirety of uh a ROM that could be accessed because again it's it was part of an F-Zero ROM dump and F-Zero was uh, overwritten or F-Zero overwrote a bunch of uh, the actual OOT data so this isn't a full usable build like th this is just the maps being imported into regular OOT more specifically the MQ debug ROM is the unicorn fountain in this actually kind of yes basically at least a map that looks identical to Unicorn Fountain. Well, without the Unicorn. It's a fountain that looks like Unicorn Fountain, but without the Unicorn. Will I be going in every door? Do I need to go in every door? I don't know how thoroughly I want to investigate these. I mean, I, I, like, I want to investigate these very thoroughly, but I also want to get through them all. The Triforce is not in this, no. The Triforce has not been found. L may have been real, but not the Triforce. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump from the top of Deku Tree. No. <laughs> Bad jump. No. Didn't I save state? I swear I save stated. I'll just cheat back up to the top. Let me get a better jump. Yeah, that was Water Temple. That was a save state from me messing around last night. Alright, here's a better jump. Okay, cool. Very interesting jump. Okay, actually, let me let me check let me show Gerudo training grounds because this is a really interesting one. Uh, I think that's a possible reason Glitchman. I think either that or also just it was too complicated for a first dungeon. I think one of those two reasons. So Gerudo training grounds was actually really different. So there's only like there's essentially only three rooms minus the first room. So like this first room leads to these three sides, but unlike in the original where like they're all kind of interlinked and you're trying to get through one maze of keys, there's just three separate, uh, there's just three little challenges. 
Oh, I missed the boss chamber? Okay, I'll go back after this. So this room is uh, this thing from the final game. I guess this was just a single room and you would finish it and then go in here and claim some prize. Uh, so the thing about the doors is the doors are, I assume, manually placed, like when uh, re remaking this or like importing this into the OOT ROM. I don't think these doors were actually the doors used uh, in the actual thing. It's just they had to like, cause, so these maps don't have any actors and doors are actors. So the doors probably had to be manually added in just to make this all work. So don't pay too much attention to the doors. It's probably not that they actually wanted to use these doors. So yeah, this room, this was just like some kind of weird maze-ish type thing. Kind of weird. I think it's like symmetrical on both sides. Now this one is really interesting. Some of you guys have probably seen this. I've probably retweeted it on Twitter, but if you haven't seen this, this will be quite interesting. So when you go in here, uh, there's this hole that leads down here, and here is... Does this look familiar? This is Dampe's grave. So the Dampe race was originally in Gruta Training Grounds. Now what's really interesting about this is that this is like nearly identical. Textures aside, obviously. Uh, I went through this and I can't notice any differences, like, collision-wise between this and the final version. So, it looks like the Dampe race was... They, they basically used this in the final game, they just retextured it and moved it to Dampe's grave. And took it out of go to training grounds. And so, uh, so apparently the Space World 97 demo just had this screw to training grounds thing and it was just kind of be, like supposed to be three challenges where, uh, I forget what the other two were, but one of them just said like race a ghost and the ghost race ended up being the Stampe's Grave thing. This looks nicer. It actually does look really nice. I actually do like the textures on this. Yeah, it might have been like a generic ghost race like the one in the desert. Because I know that the name was not Dampe. Like, they actually found the text dump. And the text dump... Uh, I forgot what the name was, but it wasn't Dampe. So yeah, that's it for Grudo Training Grounds. Um, let's show Dodongo's Cavern. Dodongo's Cavern is pretty interesting. It has like a super echo. And this place goes pretty deep down here. No, the adult model is not different. The only thing different in this is the maps. These these were just maps uh, imported into regular OOT. So anything other than the maps is regular OOT stuff. But it, it looks a lot... So like this version of Dodongo's Cavern looks a lot different, but it also looks very similar. Like you can see a lot of the basic concept of regular Dodongo's Cavern, even this room. Looks pretty similar, except like there's no place up there for the Skulltula. No room over there for the other Skulltula. Goes kind of deep in here. No Armos thing. Oh, it looks different because no shield. I actually have Deku shield on, it's just invisible because adult. Even the Lizalfos room still. Oh, does this have the waterfall or la la lava fall? 
I guess not. Is this room two tiered? No, this was just a single tier room, I guess. Yeah. Was it supposed to be two levels to this? I mean, you've seen a fever dream? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like, this is so unusual. But so cool. Uh, so there was a list of items uh, that was found in the data, and there's some different items, m mostly different um, icons. There was only one item that seemed to be unique that was cut from the final game, which is actually a landmine item. They actually, so uh, this early version did not have bomb shoes, but it had a landmine. Uh, so they probably changed the landmine into bomb shoes at some point, which is really cool. War crimes. Yeah. Uh, but there was also a lot of um, really interesting earlier item icons. It's not in this because uh, this is just maps ported over. Here's the stairs room. Oh, you actually like enter the stairs room from the front instead of the side. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of uh, interesting icons. If anyone has like the Twitter link or picture link, th th it's floating around a lot on the internet somewhere. But uh, if anyone has the link to the pictures of the early icons, feel free to link it in chat. Because they're really cool. Come on. Thanks for giving sub, Dark Watcher. Oh yeah, this room is really interesting. This looks completely different from the final game. I can't think of any room that looks like this. Like most of the other rooms look pretty similar. You can at least like tell the same similar design concept, but that one is completely different. Uh, I might upload this to YouTube Uncut. I think people would probably like that. I mean, I, I love this kind of stuff, and I know you guys do too. And here's the boss door. So, what I thought was really interesting is that the... The Dodongo head leads directly into the boss door. There's not like an extra room. Like, this is just the Dodongo head right here. And goes straight into the boss room. Which actually... Thinking about it, that kind of seems better. Like, it is kind of weird that you go in the head and then you have to like go through a few extra rooms, and then the boss is like on the side. Kind of actually weird. And then here's boss room, which actually is pretty similar. It actually might be exactly the same minus bomb flowers, and bomb flowers might have actually been here. Uh, I think this just doesn't have actor data. Oh, uh, this is public, yeah. Uh, you can find it. Okay, here. Let me let me find the YouTube video. There's a YouTube video with a link in the comments for it. I'll link it real quick, so you guys can download it and play it yourself. All right. If you guys want to play this, uh, check the comments. Okay, someone already posted it. Uh, check the comments of oh, different videos. I don't know. Whichever one you want. Yeah, yeah. Check the comments there. You can find a link to it. Thanks for 38 months, Soul Craig. Uh, okay, yeah, I was gonna go to the Deku Tree boss room, something. Okay, what was what was it about the Deku Tree boss room? It was near the bottom. Is it this over here? Yeah, 
Yeah, some of these maps are really big. They definitely had to tone them down. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's Goma's room. Goma's room is actually pretty similar. If not identical. So Goma's room seemed pretty final in this. Uh, four is simple. Uh, oops. <laughs> There's a loading zone right there. Uh, th these rooms just don't have any actors, just because we only have the map data, not the actor data. There, there were very likely a bunch of stuff in them, it's just we don't have the data. Uh, so yeah, this is Forest Temple. So Forest Temple is weird, because if you notice how like Deku Tree and DC and a lot of other maps uh, look really big, Forest Temple looks really small, except for this room. And yeah, also Forest Temple has light coming in from the ceiling, and also some of the outside rooms have light coming in from windows, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, a lot of Forest Temple looks way smaller than it should be. Like, a lot of rooms are very cramped. Yeah, like over here. You got windows over here. Look at the well. Look at this tiny well. Yeah, I actually really like the lighting. The lighting is really good, but everything being super small is kind of bad. Also, ladders don't really work properly. But that's probably just... Oh, come on. That's probably just... uh unfinished map stuff. Is it solid? It is. Nice. I don't think there's any water. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's not that deep. Oh, this part's really cool. So, in the final game, there's one room in between here. But in this, it's just one really cramped hallway. There's also these, like, uh, solo, uh, little hideouts here that don't really have anything connecting them. Maybe there was, like, hookshot targets or something. Oh, and this is actually pretty interesting. So there wasn't an elevator, uh, there, were, there were actually stairs that just went down here instead of an elevator. Although it looks like the general concept of down here was still the same, or, well I don't know, I guess it might not have had the rotating thing, but it had like several connecting rooms. And here's the Phantom Ganon fight, which was like a solo platform in the middle, I guess. Fight concepts seem the same. Bunch of paintings. Yeah, it's so tiny. Yeah, just like everything in Forest Temple is so tiny. I think this is probably the point in development where they might not have like been aware of how to scale things, I guess, because some maps look way too big, some look way too small. They probably were... This was probably just like fleshing out the ideas with... Jeez, these, these stairs are hard to... hard to go up. They probably didn't have like uh, a sense of how to scale things yet properly. Open the door! Twisted Hallway. I don't think the Twisted Hallway is in here. Actually, uh, it definitely couldn't be because Twisted Hallway is an actor. And this is room data only, no actor data. So it can't be in here. 
Here's a room with the bow Stalfos fight. I guess you like dropped in. Yeah, you could maybe see the holes for it. I'm not sure if the holes are there though. Yeah, like look at all look at how tiny all these rooms are and everything's so cramped. Oh yeah, actually they might have had the twisted hallway cuz it would probably be right here. Uh if I can see Uh I wish I could have collision view. I could have collision view, I could figure it out. But actually, yeah, maybe they had a twisted hallway. It would be right there, and that door does lead to falling out of bounds, so potentially. Uh, to fly and move around in this, it's uh, L plus D pad left. And then you move up and down with A and B and move around with D-pad. This another fall? Yeah. Okay, actually they probably did have Twisted Hallway then. If both of those lead to falling. So I guess Twisted Hallway probably, uh, this was probably, they probably already made it by this point. Uh, there was a video linked earlier with uh, that had a link in the comments to download this if someone wants to post a video link again. Yeah, the doors are manually added uh, for loading triggers because uh, if it was the map only, the only the room that would load was the first one. The doors had to be manually added so that you could actually see all the rooms. This is the block room. Which seem to be pretty different. No, there's no uh, data for the landmines, only uh, icons. Icon and I think text, and that's it. This is, this is only the beta maps. Like, uh, everything that's not the actual maps that I'm running around in is regular OOT stuff that I'm playing on right now. This is the beta maps imported into regular OOT. The top. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm convinced that, uh, Twisted Hallways were in, I'm pretty sure. Since all three of the rooms that would normally lead to Twisted Hallway, um, lead you to you falling, they were probably in. Uh, I think that's it for Forest Temple, I think I looked at everything. Quite a bit smaller, actually. Handful of rooms cut. Uh, Fire Temple. Fire Temple is really interesting. So for some reason, it starts you really high. I don't know if this was like actually where it intended you to start. I think this is. It's also really dark. Fire Temple is super dark, which actually I think is like a really cool atmospheric effect. So I think it starts you in the room that is supposed to have the hammer. Uh, this was patched over MQ Debug ROM. Okay, I'm just going to fall all the way down to the beginning. So this is the, uh, the big lava room at the very start, like the first room, first room to the right in vanilla. I just want to find the first room. So this is the actual first room. I got actual stairs. No rooms off to the side over here. Uh, 
Uh, MQ debug ROM is just easier to work with for ROM hacks. So, uh, like for quick ROM hacks like this, it's usually easier to just throw stuff in there. This is the room where you meet Darunia. Pretty similar, but pretty obvious differences. Boss door over here. Oh wow, the boss door ledge is super tiny. Volvagia. I actually really like Volvagia's room in this, because like, it looks like a coliseum with like, uh, fans. Really neat. Looks better than retail. Yeah, Volvagia's room in regular OOT is actually pretty barren. It actually got some like pillars around it, but they don't really, I don't know, serve like an aesthetic purpose. This room I think is really cool. It's like, well, it's like both cool, but also one of those too big rooms. But this is like a, a room that's too big in a almost good way because it's so, it's so huge. It's like a giant sea of lava and you got to do something. This room is really different from vanilla. This room, in vanilla, this is like, there's all these uh, rock formations and lots of stuff going on. And this is like, cross this big sea and don't die. Uh, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get up. I think there might be like actors missing that are that's supposed to help you get up. Yeah, this is probably like the uh, fire elevator thing. I guess the fire elevator is supposed to be here. Yeah, the moving platforms are actors. Anything that's not just walls and ceilings and floors and stuff is actors. Thanks for three months. Real, real bad manish boy. Lots of climbing. That's a common theme in a lot of these rooms is a lot of climbing with either ladders or like this. Very tall room. Uh, lighting is sometimes an actor. Lighting, I guess the way to put it is lighting in general, I don't think is an actor, but there are certain lighting effects that are actors. This is the boulder maze, which I think looks a decent amount different. Let me get a higher up view. Yeah, because I think the boulder maze goes entirely around the central pillar, unlike in vanilla where you kind of get half the room, maybe like three fourths of it. I can't remember exactly. Uh, no, there's no music in this, so the music is just vanilla music. Yeah, so you go all around this central room here. And there's this room. So there's actually... This room looks almost identical to the same room in vanilla, except there's an extra door over here. Which is probably because uh, this map goes entirely around this room. Or, yeah, the, the bigger room around it goes entirely around it. Whereas in vanilla, it doesn't go entirely around. Thanks for 13 months, Sparrow. But yeah, this room is really neat. Come on. Has Lake answered any long-term questions? Uh, sort of. There, there, uh, there have been like several, um, several of the maps that were leaked. Uh, we can recreate exact screenshots from early versions of OOT. Like, there are various screenshots of like Link, uh, in a, uh, facing a Poe in a graveyard, or Link watching a sunset, or Link in front of a castle or something. 
that uh, we actually have the maps now. We actually have the exact maps that were used for these super early beta screenshots. I feel like this room is supposed to be like the fire maze in vanilla, but very different from the fire maze, considering it's not a maze. What happens if I jump? Interesting. Okay, yeah, this should be the fire maze then. Uh, I just have Deku shield on. That's why uh, it's invisible. I'll just put Highland shield on. Ah, so there's another room like this on the other side. Uh, is there a door I'm missing? No, this is just decoration. Can't figure it out. I can't figure out how to beat this unfinished ROM hack. Here, I, I think, I think the the hammer room is supposed to be like a, above here, and I think uh, it starts in the hammer room, like loading here starts in the hammer room. So I think it might be like right below here. Let me try. Yeah, yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, so here, I guess I'll try to work backwards and find it. This room's green in the final version. Oh, uh, yeah, I can show the unicorn fountain thing in a sec. Okay, well, that's why I couldn't find how to get up. It's just a hole. There's probably some actor that would throw you up there. Uh, let me try to find the unicorn fountain. Well, it's not really the unicorn fountain. It kind of is, but it isn't. You'll see. So this looks pretty similar to the unicorn fountain screenshot. There is no unicorn, but it looks pretty similar. No, the Sky Temple was not found. There is no Sky Temple in, in these map files. Although, actually, interesting thing about the uh, dungeons. Uh, this doesn't have Shadow or Spirit, so... Uh, I don't know if they weren't planned yet, or... They were definitely planned, because we know that Shadow and Spirit arrows were planned. But uh, there was at least no Shadow and Spirit Temple made yet. Or at least not in these files, which is interesting. Uh, let me show Water Temple. Water Temple is uh, very cool. I really like Water Temple. So this is Morpha's room. Very big. It's actually very deep, too. Uh, when you jump in, the water goes really far down. Or what would be water. Like in, in uh, release, it's not that deep. Uh, here it's very deep. The whole map is really big. I wonder if Morpho was planned to be bigger too. Yeah, maybe you actually like did more of the fight in the water. This room is pretty similar to release, except longer and no floor raisers. Well, I mean, there probably were, there was probably something in this room. 
that we just don't have accurate data for. Yeah, underwater combat would have been cool. I always thought it was weird that you don't really fight Morpha in the water. You just kind of have to stay away from the water. This room, I think is so cool. There's this big bridge that leads over to the central tower and the central tower is so much bigger. Height wise too, like this thing is giant. I'm gonna jump. Look at how big this is. Was I wonder if this was supposed to be spikes? Very hurdy spikes. Yeah, Water Temple was huge. Spike dot JPEG. So I saw some people saying that like uh, it looked like Water Temple was probably meant to have a lot more uh, water level puzzles. Like in this room, there's like a lot of things that look like they could probably be water level puzzles. Like one level here, another level down, another level down. Yeah, I saw people joking on Twitter that like, oh my god, the version of Water Temple we got was nerfed. And a lot of the rooms look very different from release. It's, none of these rooms look anything like what we have in release. Water Temple seems, aside from the main room, it might be like one of the most changed. At least of like the three adult dungeons we have. But there's just like a lot of hallway rooms and like box rooms. Yeah, the textures are really cool. I like the textures a lot. Looks like a ROM hack, yeah. Um, possibly Glitchimon. Uh, I, I saw some people saying... I don't know how realistic this is. I saw some people saying that, like, it might be possible to do some, like, hardcore data forensics, um data recovery on the F-Zero cart to like that might be able to use some crazy techniques to like find out what was on the cart before F-Zero rode over it. I don't know how realistic that is. I don't really know anything about it, that's just something I heard someone say. But uh... Sounds a bit far-fetched. Sounds a bit wishful thinking-ish. Dark Link room. I could not find anything that looked like a Dark Link room, at least. Oh, Zell is going to do a better recreation. That's cool. Yeah, I'd love to see like a, a more complete recreation of this stuff. Oh, there is a Dark Link room? Okay. I just can't find it because Water Temple is so confusing. Uh, the beta wasn't in a language. We have, or no, I think it was in Japanese. We don't, this is the only map data that was just imported into Master Quest Debug ROM. But no, there actually was text that was translated. So yeah, it was in Japanese. Yeah, we got we got two different OOT leaks at the same time. One of them was from a few days before release, and this one is from uh, a year and a half ish before release. We got them the exact same day and so people have been, been getting really confused about them. Dump, leak, same thing. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this room is really interesting. This room looks like some kind of uh altar thing? I don't know. This is a really unique room. Water plate Ganon. So, oh no, I just refreshed chat and I tried to save state. What's in here? Yeah, that might have been like a mini boss thing. Or this. This actually looks more like a mini boss room. Which room did I come from? Was it this one? Yeah. This definitely is not a hoax. If this is a hoax, this is one of the most elaborate gaming hoaxes of all time. Oh, maybe this is the Dark Link room? Looks like it could be. Imagine recreating a game that was supposed to be a beta build of a game that was already in development for several years. So you're basically spending by yourself several years of development time making a fake beta build of a game. Yes, this is totally fake. But no, this is, there's no way this is fake. I really like this, the platform bridges thing. Okay, I think that's all for Water Temple. Actually, let me, I think I didn't check this bottom room. It looks like this is the entrance. Entrance is so big. Oh yeah, this is already already one in this room. Oh yeah, here's the possible dark link room again. Oh, did I miss this? Off to the side. I didn't see that before. Dang, this would have been a long fall. Oh, I mean in this room. This is interesting. Yeah, you can see like some of the things that were likely water level puzzles, like this room probably. Yeah, water, water level puzzles would have been pretty crazy in this. Yeah, this whole dungeon is huge and very different from vanilla. Like, Fire Temple, you see a lot of similarities. Forest Temple actually looks pretty similar, uh, minus being really cramped and missing rooms. This, like, the central room is pretty similar, but then other than that, like, very, very different.
All right, let's go to the other areas. Those are gonna be like the longest ones to get through. I already did go to training grounds earlier. Uh, Hyrule Field ones are kind of, they're like both interesting and not interesting. They're kind of empty. It's kind of just a lot of green. Got a river here. Zora's River, maybe. Leading to Zora's River. It is pretty big, yeah. They wanted a big Hyrule Field. Big, but hugely empty. I mean, again, no actors. So, there are probably, there's probably stuff in here. Can I get up there? There we go. Yeah, you listen to this remix. Oh yeah, th I think this house might have been one of the houses in some beta screenshot. Oh my god, this Hyrule Field really is huge. I actually didn't spend that much time looking at Hyrule Field last night. But yeah, this is big. Uh, I don't know if they're able to retrieve actor data. I think they might have, like, what data, what actors should be there, but they're, like, different or something. I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't answer that question. I don't know the answer. I don't know the true answer. I think Elliptic was saying something earlier about the actor data. Look at my Quest 64. Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday, or not yesterday, the other day when we were watching videos. That, like, some of these beta maps look kind of like Quest 64. <laughs> and so here's newer Hyrule Field. This Hyrule Field looks closer to, uh... I think the Two Suns is just, uh... It's just a debug ROM slash emulator glitch. It's not actually... It wouldn't actually be like that in the game. So this, uh... Oh, the actor data will be retrieved? Okay, cool. Just needs a bit of conversion? Okay, cool. So actor data will... We will have actor data. So this Hyrule Field is like closer to final. But, uh, so apparently this version was going to be used at Space World for a demo. And so they, they like put fences off for areas that weren't finished yet. And so these fences actually indicate like, hey, this area is still not finished. Which is kind of neat. Because these are one-way fences. We can see this area near Hyrule Castle. Pretty... Pretty near final. Except no broken bridge. Over to Kakariko. Nothing there. Uh, the bridge is there, but it's a different kind of bridge. And it's also not solid. But like, this is... No. Peter Jail. But yeah, so Kakariko is supposed to be over there. Zoro's River is supposed to be over there. Uh, Lost Woods is supposed to be over there. It even has this this wall. I wonder if we can figure out the purpose of this wall. I always thought this wall was super weird and random and served no purpose. But, uh, seems like this is not much more clear. Lawn line over here, under construction. A lot of fences. I think the demo had, like, Epona, and, like, you could play Epona, play an Epona or something. Too fast. I'm just using F4 to go through this, because I don't want to walk all over Hyrule Field a bunch. But yeah, this is probably like a mess run with a Pono demo kind of thing. Uh, Kakariko. Kakariko's really basic. It's just houses in a flat line. 
Oh my god, I'm playing at a quarter speed. Game's going too slow. Yeah, I'll show tempo time soon. Uh, these maps, I mean, they would have been interconnected, if that's what you're asking. Uh, if you mean, like, can I actually move between one map to another? Uh, it's not made like that. But, uh, there are some, like, a lot of the loading zones just go to, like, some random loading zone. Not actually random, but just, uh, some random, uh, ID for a loading zone that might happen to bring you to a different beta map. Like, I know one... There was one loading zone I was messing with last night that happened to go to Temple of Time or something. I can try. It might randomly take me to another beta map. But it's not a program like that. But yeah, this is just beta Kagariko that looks very basic and completely uninteresting. Interesting in the sense that we get to look at beta stuff uninteresting in that there is nothing going on. Over here. Cool. Uh, okay, someone wanted me to show Temple of Time. Temple of Time is cool. Actually, wait, no, let me do his child. So the warp pedestal was very different. Showed this. And pedestal is different. And the door of time is very different. Also the Triforce is upside down. Which also, there was an old beta screenshot of Temple of Time with an upside down Triforce. So we have it. So now, the obvious question. Can you do dot skip? And the unfortunately obvious answer is no. So, uh, dot skip was patched into the game later on. Dot skip is not in this version. And, but, if I cheat through the door, you see, there is nothing. There is nothing behind the door. So even if there was dot skip, you can't uh, can't have dot skip as if there's nothing behind the door to skip. So they super patched dot skip in this. They were thinking 15 years ahead. Okay, let's check out the other ones. So here's Graveyard. Uh, this is another one where there's a beta screenshot of Link fighting a, in, fighting a Poe in an area that looks exactly like this. You can pretty much match this map exactly to that old screenshot. Cool, but basic. Yeah, this is from that F-Zero cart. Dude, I love how everyone knows it's the, the F-Zero cart, but, it's, but everyone talks about it as OOT being the interesting one. <laughs> It's like there's this F0, this uh, F0 cart dump and F0 fans, F0 fans are like, oh yeah, we got some cool beta stuff. And then, no, it's all Zelda. Once again, everyone cares about Zelda and no one cares about F0. The age old classic. Uh, where do I go next? Lost Woods. This here is really weird. Looks very unfinished. Loading zone. Another Temple of Time. Yeah, this area actually has like nothing going on. I mean, probably actor data going on somewhere here. 
probably something happening with actors, but it's a pretty empty area. F Zero fans are used to the suffering. I I would hope so. And by by I hope so, I mean I hope it doesn't bother you too much because it, it uh it's just gonna keep happening. It always just keeps happening. Yeah, a lot of these areas just lead to weird loading zones. That's regular Shadow Temple, by the way. That's not no beta thing there. Explain the F Zero. Zelda thing. Uh, someone found a dev cart of F Zero and dumped it, and thought they were getting F Zero beta stuff, and half of it was leftover OOT beta stuff, and so everyone cares about the OOT stuff and not the F Zero stuff. Uh, what was I doing? Forest building. I don't actually know what this is. Oh yeah, this is just like another super empty map. It's a Goma's room. Cool. Oh yeah, this Goma's room is actually different from uh, in Ducky Tree. Tree forest. Oh, this is interesting. This looks a lot different than... Uh, there was a different leak a few months ago that had a beta Kikiri forest. And that was actually pretty different than this. That one was... This one's closer to final. This one, or this one is closer to final. The one from a few months ago is like very different, a lot, a lot bigger. Houses seem in close to correct spots. No, uh, Kukuri, um, or not Kukuri sword crawl space. Even has the platforms for the stones. Oh, this doesn't really curve. This is like a straight... Oh, you know what? I bet... I bet they made this curve just to hide the loading trigger. Is Moblin actually in the map? You mean uh, the forest building one? Oh, then that's probably like Sacred Forest Meadow, maybe? Big Deku Tree. Crash. Uh... Come on. Please reset my game. Can't even load a safe state or reset. I hope I can reopen the game because of all those issues I was having earlier. Please. Uh oh. Please let me reopen the game. Okay. It worked. Safe. Okay, I just want to check up here. Looks like stuff up here is kind of similar. Oh, it looks like there's no vines. You climb up here, or is this... Okay, yeah, you had to, like, climb up ledges instead of vines. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go into loading zones. A house up here. No Lost Woods entrance. Why would an F Zero card have beta OT stuff? It was a dev card, which means like they put various different games on it just for testing purposes. So probably they were testing OT at one point, and then they were testing F Zero and just put it over it, just reused the same card, and uh, ended up overwriting half the OT data with F Zero. 
Because, like, they would use the same cart for dev testing. Like, they just reuse it. Uh, Lake Hylia. So this is one of those, um, there's another one with, like, an obvious beta screenshot. There's, like, a beta screenshot of, like, probably in this direction of Link talking to some girl. Or right here. F zero made us lose half the beta stuff. Poor F zero guys, they always. No, oh, don't crash. Okay. Yeah, that's true. the The guy that was doing it for the F zero stuff might not have gotten it if it was OOT stuff. I mean, I would hope. You would think. Hmm, OOT dev cart. I wonder if that might be good to get. It might not be ice. This might just be a water texture that happened to be solid. I mean, it's cool to think of as ice, but more likely this is just a solid water texture for some reason. But I don't know. Maybe maybe Lake Highly was frozen over. That would have been cool. Huge. I saw an acute angle, I had to. Is that a one-way wall? Oh, the trees, yeah. So much empty space out here. I assume this was probably meant to be cut out. And the ma the actual map would probably start like right here or something. Because that's like a huge amount of useless empty space. But yeah, like Kylia, cool but kind of empty. Uh. I think this one was pretty empty too. A lot of the overworld stuff is pretty empty. Just it's literally just a straight river. Can't move this fast. Uh Fishing pond is very barren. It's literally actually just a pond. There's no fisherman guy desk. Very basic fishing pond. Rita Valley is pretty interesting. A lot of uh, similar basic concepts, but looks pretty different. There's multiple tents here. The bridge is still here and the bridge is still broken. Tents are different. Still a very long fall. Jump. So this area down here is still the same. Uh, but what's interesting here is there's... Uh, you were meant to climb like sideways on this thing up to the heart piece. Or what... Where the heart piece is in retail at least. Who knows what would be here earlier. But... You had to climb sideways and then up instead of a ladder. And then, um... 
across the bridge there seems to be an entrance to haunted wasteland over here so it looks like there's an entrance to both haunted wasteland and grudo fortress you can see cacti very generic looking desert cacti are not even in the final game but that's pretty interesting But similar look to it overall, even this like little stone rock formation. Uh, we know of one item that didn't make the cut. Uh, this this leak had item data for a landmine item, and which also this uh, did not have bomb shoes in it yet. So it seems likely that landmines were uh, replaced with bomb shoes. Oh, we know eight items that didn't make the cut? Wait, like unique items or are you talking about like capacity types? Oh, are you talking about the, um, these are the medallions. Yeah. Okay. Also the medallions. Yeah. That, that's something that we've kind of known for a long time, but yeah, also the medallions were supposed to be usable items. Uh, the medallions were supposed to combine with the bow and so you'd get, uh, wind, uh, wind. Ice, wind, ice, fire, uh, shadow, spirit, and light. Or what was it? I'm missing one. Shadow, spirit, wind arrows, in addition to ice, fire, light arrows. Oh yeah, there's this archery, archery minigame map. Cool. Uh, cool. In my NAA. No. Whatever. Dang, this is really big. Hyrule Castle uh, is kind of interesting. Uh, it's like interesting, but also uninteresting. It's much shorter. There's like not really a winding path. Um, we have to like dodge the guards. It's literally just like a curve here and then goes straight up to the front. So like much more standard uh, castle entrance. Except for this back here. So there's probably still Either a fairy fountain or some other like secret area here. I guess that means this place was out of bounds. Oh yeah, very clearly. Oh yeah, so was that thing about the spell turning Link into Navi, was that not a mistranslation after all? Because I saw someone say it was a mistranslation, and then people say it was not actually a mistranslation. So is that... Okay, it is real? Okay, so it's not a mistranslation. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this looks a lot similar, but uh, very like very different lead up to the front. Tank. 
Looks pretty similar. Oh, a gate. Interesting. Little ledge here. Oh yeah, there's also no uh, Goron City. That area is just a dead end. This actually looks pretty close to final. Plenty of changes, obviously, but the basic like skeleton of the area is pretty close to final. Gorons, yeah. I, I saw some people saying that like uh, this may indicate that Gorons weren't even added to the game until pretty late. No magic, no magic fairy fountain. The final looking areas were the ones in the space world demo. Okay, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, I guess O2 was the first game with Korans, right? Yeah. I always feel weird thinking that, because uh, it doesn't feel like it, but I guess it's true. Oh, yeah, the Fire Temple entrance in Death Hunt Crater is interesting. It's stairs instead of, like, a dropping down a hole into a ladder, which I actually think is really cool. I actually prefer this. This like deep staircase down into the volcano, I think is really cool. Wanna head up the stairs? Oh my god, why am I so good at Hessing? <laughs> why am I so good at Hessing on a beta map? <laughs> Oh yeah, I have experience passing here. When, back when I worked on this game in development. Long, long, long time ago. This is another map that looked kinda... Kinda similar, but also very different. This like winding path here is interesting. I don't think... Original Deathmine Crater never goes this high. Like really high up. Oh yeah, wow. Cause like the highest Death on Crater goes up in vanilla is like right around here. Maybe a little bit higher than this, like... I want to say the entrance out to Crater is probably like roughly at the height of up here. Maybe slightly lower. And this just keeps going up. And then I guess leads out to a death trail over there. Oh, this does this have Goron City entrance? Or at least some entrance over here. Yeah. There's also these cave areas that seem kinda weird, they seem kinda empty, but they're kinda cool. I like these. Master of Time. I actually like some of the caves in Master of Time. But yeah, this one's pretty empty. Uh, I know one of these is really cool. Um, is this it? I think this might be it. There's one that's like a winding maze. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Or, wait, no, it's not. There's like a... 
a maze of tunnels. No, this is it, yeah. Like a... A big tunnel maze cave, which is really cool. Got some arrows and stuff. I guess this is the entrance. I really like this map. This is one of my favorites. I'll follow the arrows, see if I can find my way around. I'm lost. But yeah, this place is really cool. I like this. Antigraf. I'm back at the beginning. I uh, know this is only map data, nothing else. Narrow path, narrow void here. can't tell if this is near the beginning again, or if there's, yeah, this is the same place. Or if there's like, a beginning and an end that looks similar. Where's the end? Down here? I guess over here would have been the end. Yeah. Because this is where I came from, I think, at the very start. Yeah, okay. So this would have been the end. But yeah, I, I like that map. That's one of my favorites. Temple of Time I showed earlier, Found I showed earlier. Chamber Sages was pretty much the same, just kind of like worse looking. Does it have low gravity? Go in my room. This was pretty much the same. Or like, there's a version of it that looks basically the same as in original and this one that looks a little bit different. Wait, did I not do KFC? Oh, whoops. Where am I? No, not KFC. Oh yeah, I think I saw people posting on Twitter about this. Um, so this isn't anything confirmed, but I saw some people saying uh, so Zora's Domain and Zora's River were not connected, or like you weren't supposed to enter Zora's Domain from Zora's River. And some people were saying that uh, it looked like this map may have connected to Zora's Domain, and that this path up here may have been the path that like entered the very bottom of Zora's Domain. Because if you guys know uh, the whole beneath the ice in Zora's Domain thing where like you go down the path and there's a place that looks like it would be an entrance but there's nothing there. Uh, some people were speculating that this would lead up to that bottom entrance in Zora's Domain. Which again no proof but interesting speculation. Yeah this was yeah this is supposed to be underwater. That's why people were speculating it, which, what uh, Mr. Cheese said. 
Yeah, since this is supposed to be like an underwater area, that might be plausible. But yeah, I think that's a really interesting theory. Um, oh, I think the rest of these spiral structure, I don't, don't remember this one actually. Oh yeah, I remember this. Never mind. This one's kind of like a weird barren uh, spiral structure. That's kind of it. Not a whole lot to show here. It's kind of like Deku Tree, except there's nothing there. Some thought it was another decatry, but speculative. I could see that. Like another concept test for decatry. Jump. Yeah, but not really much there. Um, I think the rest of these are beta rooms from older stuff. I think this is all known stuff. Yeah, this is super old. That's from like original debug ROM. This same thing, original debug ROM had this. This one is new, but there's not really anything here. Some weird scene with no textures. Uh, there is no what happens if you die in the beta. This isn't the beta. This is the beta maps imported into regular OOT. So this is regular OOT. We're just exploring uh, the maps that were ported in. So these are all like regular OOT mechanics and everything. Uh, ladder test. I'm pretty sure this is old too. I don't think this is a new thing. I remember seeing this somewhere at the very least. Uh, I think, yeah, I think this one's new, draw order test. Yeah, I think this is like testing uh, the order of things being drawn. Rocket League. Yeah, OOT actually invented Rocket League. Plane test. Uh, very nice. I don't know what that is. SRD test. Oh, this is like a lighting thing. Wait, I'm in, I'm in sand. I'm sinking. That was quicksand. Fly up and look down. I guess this is like to test uh, different terrains. Where the ground spells text. Or, do you mean test? Wait, I can't even do it. Oh, the ground literally says SRD. Nice. Yeah, maybe if I drop a bomb, it'll light it up properly. Uh, I probably could have made it work, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to hess away.
Okay. I guess that's it. But yeah, I think these beta maps are so cool. Oh, I, I didn't show this one in the beginning. I might as well show it now, but this is actually, uh, this is from the leaks from a few months ago. Uh, this is like one of the Ganon's castle leaks. I don't know why the ground is all lava. Kind of annoying. But this is, this is from leaks from a few months ago with, uh, a Ganon's castle map that was fully recreated. This is like supposed to be Ganon, well, Ganon's tower, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, the floor is lava, actually. So it seemed like this area was less linear. You actually had to kind of figure your way through the areas. Deku was the best. Yeah, the Deku one, I think Deku and Water Temple are my favorites in this. This room is really weird. Open the door. And then, like, I guess the climbing part out here would have been outside. Or at least it kind of looks like it's supposed to be outside. Which actually is cool. Yeah, the beta seem to love double doors, and they're just not even in the final game. Oh yeah, this does look kind of like Wind Waker, like uh, Tower of the Gods. But yeah, I guess that's kind of it for this it's a relatively small map. Go the unicorn found again. Uh, where'd it go? Where's fountain? Why can I not read there? Here. Here's the unicorn fountain. Without the unicorn. Okay, but yeah, this is really cool. I am... I've been, like, reading stuff about the beta non-stop. Like, I, I love reading all this stuff. It's so interesting. I hope they can continue to get more info out of it. Because this is all super cool. Uh, it seems like this is the end of, of uh, maps, but... People are working on getting actor data working. Um, there's a bunch of text, uh, text dumps that has a lot of info about, like, how the story of the game progression originally was. Um, what else is there? I don't know. I think there's some more. I'm sure there's more that I'm missing. <laughs>